Hi, it's Lynn from Lynn C Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in West Sussex in the UK. This is my third attempt of trying to uh, record this. First video I did earlier in the week and I just wasn't happy with it. This I made earlier today and I pressed pause and then forgot to unpause it. So I only taped half of it so hopefully this one will work um i am using um this is a flip cute flip card it's quite an easy fun fold card um i'm using the gorgeous hippest hippos and coordinating dies now uh, these are a celebration item that you can earn for free with a qualifying order and they are really cute so you've got the stamp set um, and then uh, also you've got some hippo dies which are absolutely great and they 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 cut out lots of fun shapes so um your hippos can go snorkeling there's a there's a bathtub they can actually go in a boat lightsaber grass flowers hearts little stars birthday hats some splashes a little brolly this is sort of sort of sea but i've used it uh, to make some grass if anybody can tell me what this shape is then please do because i'm not in surely sure what it is so leave me a note in the comments if you know what that little thing is it might be a seagull or a bird or i'm not i'm really not sure so i'm using that and i'm also using happiness abounds and some stamps from happiness abounds and i've got the label me fancy punch and some hues of happiness designer series paper now this one is quite fun i've i've matched up the envelope to tie it in this uses this is polished pink um granny apple green polished pink um ribbon and um I've die cut these, the little flowers are from Happiness Abound. So let me just get on, I'm waffling. The card today, I am going to use Fresh Freesia, Basic White. I've already die cut some square, the squares and they are squares from the Stylish Shapes dies. And this is the DSP, the designer series paper that I'm using for um the background so um i don't know if you can i've already gone ahead and done the envelope because i think that's quite fun um on here you may not have seen this it's very subtle but i've done a bit of paper piercing to give her um a skirt i'm going to do the same with this but it's a little bit difficult because it's so dark so I've, i'm going to try something i think i might have to heat emboss with white so I get the outline um, and then cut it out but let me um, let's see um, I'm going to bring in my trimmer and we need to cut a little hole in here and then I've got another bit of coordinating fresh freezer cardstock this measures 4.8 just under 4.8 by 15.5 and I'm going to score that at five and six now all of the measurements for this will be on my blog and there'll be links in the description box below so I'm scoring that at five centimeters and six centimeters I'm going to flip that over because it is quite hard to see and I have drawn in a little um, some little lines so I know and I can see through my trimmer here I know that that's where I want my line to be I'm just going to eyeball it for this for the minute because I haven't done I'm just doing it by eye I want to make sure that that is deep enough to go through that so I'm just going to come a little bit either side 
go down to the bottom and then I'll move that across. Let's have a look. And you might not be able to see it, but I can see through the track. Let's go up. Go up a little more. There we go. We'll use our paper snips. I'm a bit late with my uh, video today. We went for a big hike, training hike this morning. We were out last night. There we are. And that will go through there quite nicely. So that's good. Now we need to make a, a little end. We need to use our punch to make this a tab end. Now you could use an old punch, but I'm going to show you what I do for this. So I'm going to feed this. Oh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use a pencil. What did I do with my pencil? I'm going to make a little mark. Yeah, so that I don't put this through too far. So I want to feed this through and bring this up. So we're just going to get the tab, this top with the tab end. And I can see through here that the card is coming through, still coming through. And there's the little mark. I can see that that's there and I can see that's towards the top of the card. So I'm going to put that straight and give that a little tab. We can rub that out, a little bit of card to come out of that. There we go. And then I'm going to use my tab end and I'm going to pop that through. Let's make sure there's all that card in there. And I'm just going to eyeball it so it doesn't need to be right in the middle. Push that down and then we've got a nice little tab for the ribbon to go through. So we're going to rub that out. Lovely. And then I'm going to use my bone folder just to reinstall. on those score lines. Lovely. So that is going to come through like that. Lovely. So before this is stuck down, I'm going to use onto this DSP. I'm just going to add the squares. This is how I do it. I don't know whether this is the right way or not. So I'm going to use tear and tape because it's a little bit stronger. When you've got a moving part, it's a little bit stronger than using liquid glue and it's quicker. Theoretically, you don't have to wait for it to dry or adhere. Oh, I can hear the football started. The girls are in the final of the Women's Cup. Let's put that the right way up. I'm just putting that to that last score line, holding that down. And you can see it's kind of, it's even. So I'm going to open that like that. And I'm just going to put a, a, a tiny bit, one line on that left edge of that flap. Let's take that off. And we can fold in those extra little bits. And I'm going to close that down. Oh, 
open that up and then I can put several strips on here just to hold that final square in place you can use whatever your glue of choice is can you imagine the atmosphere in Wembley so it's the I think it's the first time you might hear my husband screaming because he's watching it in the kitchen We'll close that on itself. Make sure it's the right way up. I'm just going to put it to this score line and sort of eyeball it again. Make sure it's flush with that. And then when that's closed, you can't actually see the bit underneath. So that's fabulous. That's ready for a little bit of ribbon. So I'll uh, put that through and just tie a knot, that's all it needs. Lovely. These are the white bits. So I've got, I've already stamped and cut my little moomins. So I know these are hippos, but when I was growing up, we had um, a children's program called the Moomin Trolls. And they just remind me of that. So, and they were white hippopotamus-like um, animals, fictional animals. I think the, they were called Moomin Trolls, but the name got changed to Moomins. Just so cute. So I'm using a stamping blend and this is one of the tonal colours and it's SU1000. Our stamping blends are alcohol markers so I'm just dotting around the edge of her snout. I come in and just a little bit down under her belly there again do her little nails a couple of dabs in her ear and then I'm going to come in with some fresh freesia this is the dark one I'm going to colour in her ballet shoes Did have there's the granny apple green just to do a little bit there. And then let's see if we can put this together quickly so I can go and watch the football. Yes, this is my I can't believe my third attempt at this video. I think it's just trying to tell me that I just need to start doing lives. Um, and for some reason I keep putting it off. I don't know why. So we'll just let that dry for a minute. And I had one of these in my pot. I don't know if anybody else has these, but I've got a pot that's full of bits from previous projects that I've made that I can sort of look through and see if any of them are handy for the next one so i've got that i'm going to use that i've also die cut granny apple green card those so he's ready to go on but we still need to do her skirt don't we he goes on come on thank you 
is going on the small square oh they're just so cute There we go, that's ready, okay, trim that from the back so we know we've got it, I'm going to Uh, there, it's so cute. And I want her to be holding the flowers, so I'm going to pop those up. I'll pop the flowers up on a dimensional. Just have a tiny little bit of glue on the end of that. I'm going to stick that under there. She's got that there so we still need to do this skirt and I think yes I think it's going to be easier if I stamp it's not very easy to stamp in black and see where did she go where is she did I put her away yep, there she is so I've cleaned her off and I think I'm gonna a little bit of heat embossing, but I'll do it in white. White is absolutely hideous. Actually, it could be clear, couldn't it? Yes, let's do clear. So I'm using clear emboss powder rather than white. Only the tiniest little bit. I need to put some more powder in there, I think. That's perfect. Let me just get those out of the way. Emboss this. Now I can see that, but you can't, not easily, anyway. So just while well, that's Cooling down. Let's pop him in there. I love that he's winking. And pop her. On the front. That's lovely. So cute. And this is going onto the base onto a matte white layer with dimensionals. So what I did before, I just cut strips off. This is one of the what's left of. A foam adhesive sheet 
and I think these are great um, for this kind of project. Down. I've been through a nice training walk today. Went through lots of training. Walked yesterday as well. I'm walking every day. Must be getting fitter, surely. So that's going to go on there. Let's see if we can get this on straight. Nice to have that on like a little layer there. We're going to do some stamping in that one. So the last of the moomins. Pose whatever you like, um, and then I need this. So happy birthday! Do that straight, and then wishing you all the happiness you can imagine, which is a really lovely sentiment from the Happiness Abound stamp set, which is fun. I'm gonna do the little dots, keep it consistent. Little dots. And I'm doing just tapping very lightly. Alcohol markers will actually the colour changes as they dry. I do have a colour lifter which can help you blend those. But mine has run out. So I'm waiting for a new one. This is one I use quite a lot. Put little bits in those ears. Lovely, that's so cute. Um, let's get another glue. And then we will cut out her skirt. Lovely, and I think rather than have him floating, I'm just going to do a little bit of grass. That's better. <laughs> so cute. Reinforce that. I'm going to pop that on flat. Got enough bulk and dimension. And I will share before I head off, I will share some other little cards that fun cards that I've made with this stamp set. But that's now dried and although it's probably quite hard for you to see it's easier for me she said I'm just going to cut now do I give her a top no we're just going to give her a skirt so I'm going to cut this 
nicely on camera and make a complete cock up of it. Excuse my French. But you can imagine how difficult that would be to see black ink on navy. I mean, it's quite a simple design. The other one was easy. It was mostly white with just some um, crosses on, the coloured crosses. Fiddly, fiddly when it's just a little bit. So it's gone nicely there, so that's there we go. How cute is that? I like that. So I always find when we're doing this is called paper piecing. Paper pieces, there's lots of papa -pa -pa in this video. Hippest, hip, happy, hippest hippo. You might want to say that after a few drinks, either, would you? Um, so, yes, it's always easier to put a little bit of glue on where you're going to stick your paper um, rather than trying to put glue on that bit. So, let's pop that down there and piece that into place and that is really cute and then because we always need a little bit of bling on all of our projects we're going to do some there we go, three there and, that, and there we have it i don't know what i did with my matching oh there's my matching envelope How cute is that? What do you think? Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you like this. And then um, I will show you. This is a cute, another ballerina. I've coloured her in um, with stamping blends. Very sweet. And she's on a little wobbler, so she's dancing. And then this one is the other two. And this is the grow die cut. And I've done some stamping and some blending behind and then pop them in. This is from a new stamp set that I haven't really had a lot of chance to play with called Alphabest. So it comes with a little punch to punch these out. So that's rather good for personalizing projects. Anyway, that's it for today. Have a lovely week. Take care and I will see you next Sunday. Bye for now.